The other day I was riding my bike to go deer hunting when suddenly... Oh man, what happened? Well, it turns out my bike was busted. Luckily I had packed camping gear just in case I got stranded. I knew if we could survive the single digit temperatures that night, then we could deer hunt for the very last day of the season. Come on, let's go. First things first, we'll take this and we need to find a little spot to make a camp tonight. This looks like a good spot right in the middle of all these trees. We got a nice little flat spot. And we only have like an hour before dark. So we're just gonna call this good. Now let's head up to the top of the hill. I have a couple trail cams that have been sitting up there for the last two weeks. We'll check the cards later tonight and that'll tell us where we should hunt and what time the deer will be coming through. You see how cold it is. The leaves are just real loud and crunchy. This is one of the main trails right here. Oh, right there. A couple deer just ran. I just saw their tails. Here's our second camera. The deer were right up there. We'll probably hunt right up here on this bench because it's kind of flat and it gets steep and it gets steep above and the deer like to hang out on this flat part during the day. You can tell the turkeys have been here. We'll have them on camera probably because see all the leaves are scratched up. The turkeys come and they scratch the leaves and then pick up any seeds or bugs that are beneath the leaves. Let's see if there's anything in this abandoned cabin that we can find to use for tonight. Maybe we can use this chair right here. No, nope. that thing's frozen. This is the last camera we have. Our camp is right back there. We'll see what we have right here close to camp. This stuff ought to work to start our fire. All right, okay. You can't be around right here. You're going to ruin it. No biting. No biting it. Okay, good girl. No way this is going to work, but let's try it. Look out, Oak. It's fire, girl. Come here, Oak. You're fine. Come here, Oak. <laughs> Oakie. It was fire. Come here, baby. It won't hurt you. Come here, Oak. Come here. Oakie, did that really get you? You're just scared of the fire now, huh? Wondering if she just breathed in a bunch of smoke. Come here, Oak. Come here, baby. Come here. Did this scare you? Do you still have all your whiskers? Yeah. Did you get some smoke? Yeah, you don't like fire. Poor dog, I didn't realize she's gonna smell the fire. Now we'll gather a bunch of firewood and we'll cook up some dinner. Are you trying to help? Good girl, you're trying to help? Go get it, go get it. Get that stick. Get that stick. Ah, oh, get it. Oh, get that stick. Get it. Get it. Oh, get it. Oh, that's a big one, girl. Whoa, watch the camera. You want that one? Oak, you're so helpful. So let me show you guys the gun we got to use tomorrow. So this is a flintlock rifle. This is literally the same thing they'd be using like in a mountain man days. This is actually modern, modeled after like an Indian trade rifle, what they would have traded the Indians. But how it works is put the powder down the barrel, load the ball, put flash powder in here, flip this down, cock it back. And when this flint rock hits this, it makes a spark, ignites the powder, ignites inside of here. That flash travels through that little hole, ignites the powder, and shoots. And voila! Well, you see how much fire came out of that thing? That was only like 20 grains. Now we're putting in a full 70. And then these are what it's shooting, a 50 caliber lead ball. And boom, we're loaded for the morning. So what did I tell you guys? Turkeys. Look at that, they're even like fanning out. A little tiny buck, look at that guy. And some does, they're right there at 1230, coming right down that trail, perfect. Ooh, then look at that guy. He's not a bad buck, he's legal. Nice eight pointer. Oh, and then look at that gray fox. And holy crap, look at the amount of turkeys right there. Wow. Look at how many. And then the deer are there at night. There he is, he's alive. That, that's a nice buck. Then we got this big boy. This is the biggest buck I've seen on the homestead. 
put a name for this deer in the comments and I'll pick one to start calling him going forward because I have a feeling we're going to be seeing more of him in the future. So at 820 this morning there was deer up there so that's a really good sign that's where we're going to hunt. Here's a buck. That's not a bad buck either. I can't tell if he's the same one at the top. I'd have to double check. Turkeys. You can see they came through when it snowed quite a bit. Look at them breaking the trail. And look at that. Gray fox and red fox. Man, we've been getting the fox a lot. So we definitely are going to be trapping here next. That is a good sign. I'm thinking we are shooting a doe tomorrow. But we might even be able to shoot that giant buck. Oak shivering quite a bit. You're dismissed. You can go back to the house and... Sleep, in the, sleep on the couch tonight, okay? You did good. We're going real fancy tonight. A little pan, and I got two of these bad boys. They're, so I've been experimenting with some seasonings. I've been trying a bunch of different ones. This is like a steak seasoning with some coffee in it. And I was half wondering if maybe I should make my own seasoning. I think that'd be fun to do. I'm not sure what it would be yet. Maybe some kind of steak seasoning all around wild game. For now, we'll just use this stuff. Oh yeah, whoa, we're getting smoked. <gasps> wow, my eyes. Check that bad boy out. Looking good. Guess I should have cleaned this off from the last time I used it, huh? A little bit grody. Smells good. Mmm. Man, that hits different. That butter. Mmm. And I figured, and I bring some bread. Dump some of that out. We got to attract all the possums around here tonight. And we're going to see if we can't make a little toast. Oh, we might be burning. We're burning. I think I smell smoke. Oh, yeah. She's toasty. Oh, that's hot. Mmm. I have some good stuff. This is fun. In my own backyard, campfire. If we shoot a deer tomorrow, this is going to be awesome. This is a zero degree sleeping bag. I've never slept in, you know, single digits with this thing, so. We got hand warmers, we got foot warmers. I got two layers of wool socks on. I'm gonna burrow down in this thing and I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh. You survived. The whole inside of the tent, just ice from my breath. Oh. Like two hours ago, a deer comes and is just snorting and stomping and came way up close to the tent just snorting but I slept pretty good really I stayed warm I never got cold except for just like the little portion of my head that was sticking out water there's still some water in there that's good Can't beat that. Bacon's done. Eat this quick and try for our deer. Everything should be good to go. forgot my water I'm dying of thirst the sun's just starting to hit this hill I bet deer will want to walk out in here when the sun's up to try to sun themselves so hopefully it's not too long a couple hours I feel like my whole face is just frozen it's got to be single digits we have a deer coming in below us right down the stone wall
flinch so bad on that thing. Not even, I don't even know why it just, but man, that was a perfect chance. That's exactly what we wanted. We could rest against the tree. Look where the powder burned the tree right here. I can't sit any longer. My feet are freezing. My batteries are just about gone. This is a crime scene right here. Yeah, I don't see any hair or anything that I hit her. I watched them for about five minutes and I don't think they knew what happened. <laughs> looks like it was her lucky day. Looks like, there's, looks like the repairman came. Let's see what the note says. Bike has been fixed, good to go. Really? Let's get the heck out of here. If you want to watch a deer hunt where I actually hit the deer, watch this video where I deer hunt with Walmart's cheapest 50 cal rifle.